Hi everybody, welcome to our class today. Today we'll be talking about presentation. Don't forget, our last class we learned about the system unit and an activity was given. I believe we all practiced the activity. I'm going to be talking about presentation today and then what are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, we should be able to explain what presentation is used for. We should also be able to mention the different applications used for presentation. We should be able to create a professional PowerPoint presentation at the end of this video. Now let's go straight into the class. What is presentation used for? Okay, so presentations are used during a speech, training or workshop to explain and show audience a new product, idea or a piece of work. There are different applications used for presentation. I'm just going to talk about two of them because they are the ones that people use the most. And the first one is Microsoft PowerPoint and the second is Google Slide. In this class, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a professional PowerPoint slide or PowerPoint presentation using... Oh, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a professional presentation using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, what can you as a child use Microsoft PowerPoint presentation for? So sometimes in your class, you can have a debate in class or you have a speech or you have a presentation in class and you are asked to explain a particular topic to the class. It will be better to present your topic or your speech using a slide. A slide can help you to show your audience pictures, it can help you to show your audience videos, it can help you to show your audience different information. So aside your audience listening to what you have to say, your audience can also see what you are showing them. Now let's just move away from our slide and go straight to the PowerPoint application. How do you launch the PowerPoint application? You press your Windows button or your Start button here and then you type the word PowerPoint all together and then to show you the PowerPoint application you have on your computer system. Now before you can do this, you must have installed the PowerPoint application on your computer system. For instance, this computer system has Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 and we are going to be using about Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 for this project. So I have pressed the start button that is why I have this pop-up and then and then I can click Microsoft PowerPoint. It take a few time to load and then this is it. It's asking me if I want to make Microsoft PowerPoint as my default browser. I don't want to do that at the moment. Now, if you are using a PowerPoint 2013 or a more newer version, it's going to bring you to this page and it will tell you to select a template. Yes, Microsoft PowerPoint works with templates, but I don't want to do that. I want to take you to a blank presentation. Now, this is a blank presentation. Now, from this blank presentation, I can choose any background of my choice. And to choose a background of your choice, you go to design. When you click design, it's going to show you different backgrounds. These are different backgrounds that we can see. I can still click this arrow button here. I'll see different other backgrounds. So I can place my mouse and then move, move until I get the background that I like. I'm still searching. I'm still searching. I'm still searching. I'm still searching. I am still searching. So I think I like this background. I'll just select this background. So for Microsoft PowerPoint, you must use backgrounds because it makes your work more colorful and more interesting. So what are we going to be doing presentations on? So I need you to suggest. Please give me topics that we should talk about. Okay, so let's talk about different kinds of animals. So let's do a presentation on animals 
in the world now if you want to do a powerpoint present or any form of presentation there are things you need to already have on your computer system now because you would be working with pictures you need to have pictures already downloaded to your computers or if your computer has internet connection you can just switch to the your internet browser get any picture that you want and then copy to your slide and then keep designing so this is my first slide the first slide of any presentation is called the title slide and usually what you will do on your title slide is to put the name of your presentation the title of your presentation put your name and then if necessary you put your class so what i am doing right now i want you to also follow through and do the same thing or you can watch this video after watching this video then you practice what you see me do so here i am going to add my name i'll just say nathaniel adoy so i'm not in any class if you ask me which class i'll say i'm in adult class <laughs> but i know most of you watching this video you are in either grade 3 or grade 4 so you can add your class to it so i'm done with my first slide i might like to add images later or probably put image of an animal or put look for image that has the atlas since i'm talking about animals in the world i can look for image that has a map of the world and then has like an animal on them or like that has animals on them i can do that later i can even do that now but i want to just leave you here for now then the next thing is i would move to home home because i need a new slide then i will find new slide here always you would see new slide here and then all the slides have different layout so this is the title slide just like you can see it only contains the title and the subtitle there's title and content title and content can help you to put the title and then it will also help you to put content now there's another slide let's look at another slide we have the section header so i'm going to try to use as many as possible layout so that we can see how it works but for this second slide i still want to use the title slide why i want to use the title slide because it can help me to type as many possible things that i want and it will make my write-up legible so i would say animals i'll say there are different kinds of animals full stop okay so excuse me children i don't think i like to use the title slide i want to use the title and content so so here i'll just say there are different kinds of animals namely I put my double color here I can see the wide The wild animals and then the domestic the domestic animals okay so I want to increase this a bit I'll just go to my font size here I'm sure you can do that already what 
if you can't, it's as simple as that. Just go to where you have numbers here and you can easily change the numbers. So we have the wild and the domestic animals. So how do we define the wild animals? This These are animals that live in the zoo. We, we see them in the zoo. They live in the zoo. They live in the forests. Some of them live in water. Um, some of them live in the oceans, right? Hope you enjoyed this class. See you in the next video.